There's so many of them. God, ah, gotta run. Gotta <laughs> make it back to the car before I'm eaten alive. They're gonna get me. How do I get in the car without them getting in? Here's a bit of a pro tip for anyone who's going into Canmore, out of Canmore, and needs gas for their car. All you need is to have just enough gas to get you out of Canmore to Dead Man's Flats. Now let me show you why. I know. That said, about 10, 15 minute drive up the highway out of Camor, uh, there's Dead Man's Flats. And that gas is ridiculously more affordable than this. So all you gotta do is make sure when you leave Camor, you just have enough gas to get you to that gas station. Dead Man's Flats gas. Boom. 103. I know what you're thinking. Why the frig did I just buy $10.25 of gas after I talked all about coming out here to get gas after not wanting to get gas in Camor? Hey, like there's cheap gas here, why am I not getting the gas here? Sorry. Well, this is only step two of my brilliant three part saving money plan. So, that's my current gas level after coming here. That is exactly enough to get me to Calgary. the master plan really comes into effect. In Calgary, the gas is... Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan? Alberta. All right, Saskatchewan. You gotta fix your sign. Oh, no, they're closed. Just missed it. Saskatchewan Information Tourist Center place is closed. Nice view. No water either. Oh well, I've got lots of water. I just like to fill up whenever I can. Oh. Time to put on stuff you should know. Learn something. I'm in a little place called Swift Current. I've heard people give Canada grief for allowing us to turn at a red light, turn right at a red light. 
Well, here in Swift Current, not only can you turn right at a red light, you can turn left at the red light. Isn't that amazing? I'm glad I bought this thing when I was in the Northwest Territories. And I kind of thought I might not use it again for a while. But looky here. Right now is the perfect time. Right now is the perfect time to bust this back out and not be eaten alive by giant mosquitoes. I mean, seriously. It's insane. Like, the, I don't know. These might actually not be mosquitoes. But they are swarming. <sighs> Alright, I'm going for it. I mean, like, look at this. Can you see this? Can you see the amount of mosquitoes? All the way to the top. All the way to the top, where the bugs are probably going to be terrible. Oh my god, this is terrible. You can hear them, listen. Have you ever heard anything that terrifying in your life? Oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna make it! <laughs> okay. I gotta get in, kill all the bugs. Super quick. Just, can you see, can you see that like tornado of bugs? Where's the focus on it? Do you see that? Look at it. Oh my God. All right, now we're gonna watch all the bugs get swept off my windshield. Welcome to Regina. I am real tired. It's uh, about 20 after 10. So I made a pretty good time, I think. Uh, considering how late I left, I'm not feeling too bad about it. I uh, just found myself a Walmart and that's where I'm sleeping tonight. Hopefully this is a Walmart that owns their own parking lot. Um, I know nowadays these like mall centers are usually owned by some kind of, oh there's a rabbit cleaning its head and it's being all cute and look how big that is. Did you see how big that was? Um, yeah apparently a lot of these like uh, Walmarts now they're built in places where the Walmart doesn't actually own their parking lot. Like they kind of rent the space from like developers. And so in a lot of these types of places, they don't actually allow overnight parking in their, um, in their parking lots.